be incredibly excited that you might be doing the Predators next year. It's not new. It would seem so. Well, it means I'm working on the script of, you know, an act of God barring, you know, a, a safe from a, the sky. Uh, it, there's nothing that suggests that it won't be the next thing. And I'm getting more and more excited day by day to really see what, it, what it's about to perfect in my not, I mean, there's great Predator movies. Um, but to actually play with the ideas, making it an event. Not necessarily in scale. It doesn't have to be huge. But it just has to feel like a Predator movie that you want to go see in the summer and line up for. And that's what we're going for, is this feeling like, let's get back to the excitement um, and the innovation of that original movie, where it felt fresh. I just want to find a way to make it feel fresh. And that's what we're trying to do. Well, a lot of people are wondering how you bring it on. Um, we have not talked about it, which is good, because I'm not supposed to talk about it anyway, because I'm not supposed to talk about the details of the script. Sure. Um, and I should. But you get in trouble. No, you won't get in uh, trouble. <laughs> trouble. Who cares? I think that uh, I think it's something that we're looking into, and I think that as this thing evolves, as it sort of takes on a more of a shape, um, we'll figure out exactly how best to honor the tradition of what is really a remarkable first movie, and even parts of the rest of them as well. A lot of people are wondering myself if you the first film to have, it could be a great way of putting it back to the real time since the first film. This one will be set in present day. Yeah, it's set in present day. Uh, after, uh, the, 